So I welcome you back and we will now see the pricing calculator for Azure that will give you a call. you have to configure and est estimate the cost for Azure products. So we were working with Azure project where the proposed solution components were given and let's start with those. We were going with an app service. So let us select the app service. Here are the different services and products that are given by Azure. So you can create, you can have an estimation uh, with the help of pricing calculator. So we select app service. The next is we select Azure SQL database. So yes, Azure SQL database is added. We wanted virtual network. So yes, we select virtual network that is added. The next was DDoS. So DDoS protection, the service is added. We have added app service, SQL database, DDoS. Then we go with Azure DevOps. For CICD thing, then we go with application inside. So that will be Azure Monitor. So yes. So overall, all the services are being added. And let's calculate the estimation. So first is app service. In here, you can select your region. So this is West US. You can select your operating system and you can go with your tire. So there are different tires over here. You can go with standard if you want. Then what are the instance type that is going to it is going to be provided? How much cores, RAM, storage it is going to be provided? So we will go with the basic plan. So the instances into this much hours. So this will calculate your estimation. There is no upfront cost now. So monthly calculation for your app service is $54.75. So here you can see, okay, if there is an SSL connection required. So if you just choose one, two, how much co uh, connections you want, then you can choose different number of connections. So yes, the monthly cost will be calculated. You want an IP SSL. So it will be $78 monthly. So it will be added and the whole cost estimation will be given on. Next service is Azure SQL database. Here you have to configure the service, whatever your co uh, configurations are and the estimation is done accordingly. So which region it is, what type of database it is, is it an elastic pool or a single database? Uh, what type of backend storage it has, locally redundant or zone redundant or a read uh, GRS, that is geographical redundant. So vCore, your purchase model is DTU or vCore. Then what is your hardware type? What is your computer tire? Is it serverless or provision? Your instance, that is A to vCore and your service tire, that is general purpose or business critical or a hyperscale service tire. So we will go with default. This is for just for an example. I am not setting any estimation for any project need, but the, as per the requirements, you can set uh, where you want your SQL data in which region, where you want your app service to be de uh, deployed. The redundancy, compute, redundancy, multi-availability zone you want to go with, you can choose this. So there are saving options if you go with pay as you go model, one year, three years. So uh, if you go with learn higher number of years, like if you go for a three years reserve, there will be saving options. There will be discounted rates given. SQL license, pay as you go or Azure hybrid benefit you can go with. Then comes the storage, that is a backup storage, point in time, restore, long term re retention. So average database size during your retention period. So these are the retention policies that you can consider. So if you go with all these requirements, then you will be charged and the estimation is given accordingly. So next come is virtual net. So this is your virtual net and you can see your region, VNet 1 region, VNet 2 region, then virtual net 1 east to west, peering is done, US NAT gateway, then for Network 2, US, East US, your NAT gateway, 
what you have to create so there will be uh, so view the data transfer cost so what is your data transfer cost that, that is two dollars for both vnet one and vnet two so it is costing you four dollars so this is how different services are there and the configuration based upon them are going to give you your um, price uh, the quotation or estimation we say includes protection of 100 resources where you go with ddos protection and price is based upon 30 day that is per month so this is the amount so we are not added any resources extra if you add then it will be calculated per resource that is 29 dollar per resource now azure devops we are going with 10 basic license user so 10 uh, basic plan license user we are going with users basic plan license 10 users 10 users test plan license so here when you go with just a basic plan license for your 10 users you go with the 30 dollar estimation and you go with 10 uh, test plans then 520 dollars if you have your additional requirements for your team you can add over here self-hosted pipelines you want self-hosted pipelines the artifact so every cost will be added cloud-based load testing if you want then it will be added this is azure monitor it will monitor log analytics, application insight, alert rules will be created, notifications will be given on. And if you add all on this, then everything, if you have additional resources to be added, it will cost you that much or not. The next is programmies and offer. So this is about the licensing part. So this is about the uh, purchase cost, the estimated monthly cost, that is a $5,645 in US dollars. and if you want to save this, you can export, save or share your estimation price calculator using pricing calculator according to your project, according to your resources, what you're going to plan for, which region are you going with, all these things are estimated. So this is how a pricing calculator works and it is very good so that we can configure our resources and we can have an idea that, okay, this is the estimation that is uh, we are going to get costed for. So this is a pricing calculator. If you want to uh, uh, study more, you just go through this pricing calculator, type Azure pricing calculator. This is the URL for that. Come over here, explore the services, configure them as per your scenarios, and then you can know your what is your monthly cost for that. Next is I'll take you through Azure Speed. So here you can come to know that you, you can just download your speed or uh, you can see the latency test. So what a latency test in a short and simple terms, I will explain you that our customer is US based. Okay. But for testing purpose of that application, if you just go towards your uh, application is going towards your US data centers and it is fetching from that, there will be a high amount of latency that will come. So uh, we are in Bangalore. So let's say we are in Bangalore and uh, uh, if we uh, if we want to know the latency and if we are our closest uh, data center is near so we will just select south india and we will know that what is our latency so it gives you south india your la latency is 95 milliseconds right but now what happens if you just select east us and you know okay the customer is from east us so i'll go with that data center that then while testing you come to know oh my god the east us latency is giving me 307 298 milliseconds so this is the range that is it is giving me so better for testing purpose we go with uh south india region so we come to know okay we can uh the closest data center we are going with and if a person is, uh, if we are providing this application, then yes, the US customer, what they will do? They are uh, residing over there and they will choose their closest data center that is East US. And then they will be uh, getting their latency, which will be minimal. So here uh, we come to know that, okay, we have to choose the closest data center where we work on with. And the next is you can download speed, upload speed. So for this, you can see, at the down if you select south india okay so asia pacific region is south india the location is chennai and you can see uh test file and you just can download the file just press something over here and the file will get downloaded this is 100 mb.b so this is how it will be getting downloaded so 
this is about azure speed and the pricing calculator and i hope you are clear with this so have hands on this and then you will experience yourself how the pricing calculator works give your scenario of your project give your estimation or give your configuration and the estimation will be calculated the same way you can check the latency with different regions you are working through so let's let's take a break over here and i hope you will all perform this lab thank you